Good morning and welcome to the broadcast today and thank you for sharing the Word of God with us. We're excited today. It's beautiful and today it's Friday and thank God it's Friday. Now that doesn't mean for me uh, that the weekend has come and I am off work. It simply means it's Friday and we're closer to completing another seven days. Uh, but that being the case, thank God it's Friday because he has spared our lives uh, to be a part of another Friday and uh, the end of another week, coming to the end of another week on tomorrow. Thank you for joining me, and we're going to be in John chapter 14 today for the Word of God. Uh, my favorite, I think, of the I Am sayings, uh, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And so stay right where you are. Before I get to pray in today, let me just encourage you again to get vaccinated, uh, to go quickly, uh, look at the numbers, look at the trend. Uh, we certainly want things to be better than what they are. We want us to be as safe as we can be. And while there might be much debate about uh, being vaccinated, let's just look at the numbers, folks. Let's look at the people who are already uh, expired or dead and look at the people who are continuously being uh, infected and know maybe there isn't a 100% guarantee, but certainly uh, getting vaccinated uh, means we have a better chance of survival and a better chance of not uh, being great spreaders of this uh, these deadly diseases that are out there. So get vaccinated. I don't know how to say it any other way than to encourage you to do it, to listen to the people who suffered uh, from this virus and from the variant. And so uh, get vaccinated. It's football season. Uh, I hope that you're not going to be in great crowds without uh, your mask and without sanitizers and uh, sanitized uh, wipes and all of that kind of thing. We've got to do everything we can. I know uh, that we want life to be normal, but it's not going to be normal right now. And we can quit fooling ourselves you can listen to whomever you want to listen to that's saying the opposite of what I just said, but look at the numbers, look at the trends, look at what's happening in our own neighborhood, in our own cities, uh, in this state alone. Just look at the numbers and schools, uh, already a couple of schools closed in Montgomery County. Uh, we've got to make sure we don't take uh, these uh, viruses lightly because they are not playing and it could be life and death. Now, uh, after that three minutes, let's pray. Father, thank you for the word of God today, for the excitement for which I feel just to be alive well in my body and mind, and to be hearing and, and offering the word of God again to children of God who may be, may be gathered anywhere around this country, maybe even somebody who will tune in from around the globe and hear the word of God. I pray for your revelation. I pray for your insight into the word of God. I pray always for humility of head and heart so that we will not just be hearers of the word, but doers of your word. And then I give you thanks, O oh God, uh, for healing because healing is indeed the children's bread. And I pray that as you heal people today, uh, that others will be drawn to you to be saved. I pray for the healing of people who are infected uh, with this COVID-19 or with the variant. I pray for healing for those who are not infected, but who have maladies and infirmities, diseases in their bodies, and who are just trying uh, to have some sense of a normal life. I pray for your healing, O oh God, for those listening to my voice. I loose your healing into their bodies by faith today in the name of Jesus. And I know that you have already purchased healing, that you, I ask you to manifest it uh, in their bodies in the name of Jesus. I pray for uh, Keith in the name of Jesus, that you would minister to my old friend's body in the name of Jesus. I give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, let's get right to the word because we don't have much Time, John chapter 14, beginning at verse 5, New Revised Standard Version. Uh, Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Now, I think I should read 
begin reading at John 14. Let me begin at verse 1. Uh, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Uh, my father's house has many rooms. The King James says many matches. The Greek translates uh, to matches to rooms, okay? If, there were no, if that was not so, would I have told you that I'm going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really know me, you will know my father as well. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. And so I, I, while I'd like to continue to read it, I need to stop there because that's where our focus is today. Jesus said to Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Uh, Jesus was comforting his disciples. He was getting ready uh, to make his departure. And a part of uh, leaving them uh, was to give them some uh, hope and some uh, consolation that it wasn't over. And so Jesus was doing that when he said to them, uh, uh, don't let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. And I, we've grown up loving this passage. In my father's house, we said in the King James, are many mansions. And of course, uh, the Greek word here translates uh, many rooms, uh, mansions being many rooms, all right? And, and Jesus said, if it wasn't the case, I would have already told you that. And he said, I go away to prepare a place for you that where I am, there you may be also. And if I go away, I come again and receive you to myself. Now, Thomas raises the question that leads into our focus today. The disciple Thomas, who had said in John chapter 11, uh, let us also go with Jesus to die with him, as Jesus was getting ready to go back to Jerusalem again and had already been in danger. It was Thomas, as you remember, at the resurrection, uh, who uh, we label doubting Thomas, but Thomas has to have specifics. I like Thomas because Thomas just doesn't want to take you at uh, take a word from somebody. He needs some evidence. He needs more detail. And so Thomas said to Jesus, uh, Lord, we don't know where you're going, and how can we know the way? And Jesus responded with these great words, these uh, words of revelation, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Wow, now that's, that's, that's big. That's, uh, that's colossal. Uh, it's crystal clear that Jesus is the only way to heaven, the only way to get to God the Father. Now, I don't know if he could have said it any plainer, uh, then Jesus said it in this passage. You've heard me say before, perhaps, you know, there are different ways uh, to get to places where you're going. And so uh, I was traveling to, um, to Destin, Florida earlier this year uh, for a few days, for a three-day break with my family, and I had been told to go a particular way. And of course, I had my GPS on, so I was going the way of the GPS, and then I called back and uh, asked a friend, is this the best way to go? And the friend said, nope, that's not the best way to go. The best way to go is to reroute and go this way. And so I discovered there was more than one way to get there. And I came home 
on an entirely different way. And so usually there's more than one way to get to a particular place. Now, uh, if I wanted to go to Birmingham, I can go 65 North or I can go 31 North and I've done both. Uh, I can go uh, 231 North through Wetumpkin, I think pick up uh, 280. I can go another way. I can go 82 West in the Tuscaloosa and, and then pick up 459 or, uh, and run into 5920. Uh, there, there are different ways to get there. I can go 85 North, be way out of the way, uh, but I can go 85 North and pick up 280 and, and go across through Opelika. There are different ways to get to Birmingham. Jesus says there's only one way to get to the Father, to get to heaven, right? And the same would be true if we were going to Mobile. You can go to Mobile different ways. I know that. I've gone 65 uh, south, but I've also known when there were bad accidents, I got off of 65 and I got on State Highway 31. I've, I've gone to Mobile out of Selma. Uh, and picked up, I think, number five, uh, 43 and five, whatever it was, and gone. I'm also told you can go some other ways. Listen, but Jesus makes it crystal clear. Uh, you can only get to the Father, the Heavenly Father. You can only get to heaven through Jesus. And so we've got to spread the message about Jesus uh, God's only begotten son who came, who lived, who died, who rose again so that people could get to heaven. One of the joys of, of the Christian church is simply to declare that Jesus lives. And in order to have eternal life, people have to come to Jesus. It's the simplest message, and yet I think the most profound message. He was uh, he was born through a virgin. He died on a cross. He arose after three days uh, in the tomb, and he has ascended into heaven. He's coming back to get his church. Simple message, but it takes faith to believe it. And Jesus says, only through me will anyone get to heaven or get to the Father. That's challenging. That makes it exclusive. You can't, there's no other way. Exclusive. There's no other person. Exclusive. Only through the Lord Jesus Christ. Can't do any good works to get there. That's been uh, canceled. You can't have any religious ceremonies that are going to entitle you to get to heaven. No, it's through Jesus. You can't offer some costly gifts. Nope, it's not what you give. You can't have, uh, be a part of a particular church or denomination. Nope, that's not what the text says. There's no special code that you have to know or come into the knowledge of. There are no special traditions, no methodologies, no particular styles. Jesus said, Thomas said, Lord, we don't know where you're going. We don't know the way. How can we know the way? And Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No one gets to the Father except through me. Now, I don't like to uh, uh, pick on or uh, be labeled as picking on other religions or anything else. But what I do not apologize for is for the faith that I'm in. I'm in the Christian faith. And the Christian faith welcomes everybody. Red, yellow, black, and white. Rich, poor, educated, illiterate, upper class, lower class, no class, white collar, blue collar, no collar. The Christianity welcomes everybody. Puts everybody in the same circle and declares all of us must come to Jesus. 
You don't get any extra points because you were born on this side of the track or that side of the track. Don't get any extra uh, credence because you've been in church all your life. No, everybody has to come to Jesus. Jesus said, I am the way. The only way to get to the Father. The only way to get to heaven is through Jesus. I like that. I like it. I love that. The only way. Earlier in John chapter 10, Jesus said, I am the door. Well, I, and I talked about the entry and the exit because we know what doors are for. They're for entering and for exiting. And so Jesus says today, I, I'm the way. I'm the way. You know, I, I wish there was a quicker way that I could get to Marion, Alabama, where there are 17 fishing ponds, you know, where I have membership. I wish that was a quicker way to get there so I didn't have to drive an hour and a half, you know, 65 to 80 uh, west and 80 west uh, to, what is it, 45, County Road 45, and then County Road 45, uh, to number five and number five to 183, I believe, State Highway. And finally, I can get there an hour and a half. And, and that's no better way. It's the quickest and the closest way to get there. But listen, just one way. There, there, are, no, there are other ways to get there. That's the quickest way. But Jesus says there's no quick way. There's no other way. There's no special way. There's no secret way. There's no private way. He says, I am the way, Thomas. I'm the way. To get to those mansions in glory, Thomas, I am the way. To walk the streets that are made of gold, Thomas, I am the way. To see the crystal sea, Thomas, I am the way, or the sea that looks like crystal, to see the jasper and the onyx and the sapphire stones. Thomas, I'm the way. To see the gates that are pearly. Thomas, I am the way. To see the city that's got three gates in the east, three gates in the west, three gates in the north, three gates in the south. Thomas, I am the way. And so no matter what anybody else says, we hang our hats on this as children of God. Jesus is the way to heaven. He's the way to the Father. Can't get there by these other ways. I know Buddha talked about a way. I know some other folks talked about ways. Look, there, there is no other way to get to heaven except to Jesus. In the early church, the Christians were called people of of the way, the W-A-Y, people of the way. So they would say the people of the way or the Christians of the way or the believers. Uh, early on, we were called, it wouldn't bother me right now to be called uh, a person of the way, the way of Christ. Jesus is the way. Dr. James M. Gray wrote uh, these words in a song. Who could mind the journey when the road leads home. You know, sometimes on the journey, uh, we, we encounter some turbulence, some adversity, some unpleasant winds. But who can mind the journey when we're on our way home through Jesus Christ, the way, the truth. Jesus, point, Jesus doesn't point us in the way. Jesus said to Thomas, Thomas, I am the way. Now, I'm pointing you to Jesus. I'm pointing you to the way that leads home, right? But Jesus says, I am the way. Just come come to me, Thomas. Come, come to me, Thomas. Follow me, Thomas. Jesus said to him, I am the way. A man was uh, lost, and he said, how can I get to this place? And uh, he stopped. Asked the man, how can I get there? And he said, well, you go down here, you make a right turn, 
He said, oh, no, they closed the road there. He said, well, you go down here, you make a left and then make a right and go. He said, nope, you can't go that way. The bridge has been washed out. He, he tried to send him another way. He said, no, nope. he said, I, you can't go that way either. They closed that road. He said, I don't know if you can get there from here. Now, listen, you can get to heaven. People always wonder, well, what can I do? Uh, can I make up the life? Uh, that I have already lived? The answer to that is no. Can I, can I just be a good person and, and it'll, it will be all right? Uh, the answer to that is no. Can I do a lot of good works and God will just accept me uh, when it's my time to die and, and I'll be forgiven and, and I'll go on home to be with the Lord? The answer is no. Well, what is it that I can do to have eternal life. And Jesus says, Thomas, I'm the way. Just come to me. And then he says to Thomas, and not only that, Thomas, I'm the truth. I know other people are espousing different things. They're proclaiming different things. They're teaching different things. But Jesus says, hey, I'm the truth, Thomas. I'm the truth. There's no falseness with me. Wow. Wow. There's no deception. There's no de deceit in my mouth. As the prophet said about me, Thomas, Jesus said to Thomas, I'm the truth. You remember Pilate, and I mentioned this not long ago. Pilate asked Jesus, what is truth? And Jesus could have just messed Pilate up and said, Pilate, I'm the truth, Pilate. I'm the one you're looking for. I'm the one who always says, what's right. I'm the one that's always accurate. I'm the one that never makes an error. Jesus declares, I am the truth. And then, and then he says to Thomas, and not only that, I am the life. I'm the, I'm the life that people are looking for. I am eternal life. And Jesus gives us eternal life while we're in the earth, not after we die, we have eternal life in us right now because when our bodies give, give way or deteriorate or can no longer house our spirit, uh, we, we don't die. The, the real me inside is never dying. The real you as a child of God is never, he's never dying. She's never dying. We just get transferred out of these earthly mortal bodies. And for some people, that's scary. Well, it should be scary for you as a child of God. It just means you're slipping out of one house. As one poet says, you're, you're moving from one room to another room. That's brighter. That's better. That's eternal. Jesus says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. In John chapter 1, Jesus introduced himself in John chapter 1. Uh, John says this about him. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with, was with God, the Word was God, the same was in the beginning with God, all things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, in Him was life, and His life was the light of men. And so Jesus says, man, I am the life. In the beginning, Jesus was life. And then he gives us, after we believe in him, eternal life. So Thomas said, Lord, I don't know where you're going. We don't know where you're going. And we don't know the way. So how are we going to get there? And Jesus said, Thomas, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. Short time ago, my... Uh, beloved cousin Reverend Myron Smoke and I uh, and my brother and I were going fishing and the interstate was all backed up the route that we were going so we had to change our route and so I got a chance to learn some different routes to get to the same place where we were fishing the quickest way to get there would just be to jump on Interstate uh, 65. But then 
my cousin said to me, we can go a different way. We've got an alert, traffic alert, so we can't get through the interstate. Let's go this way. Jesus says you don't get choices when it comes to eternal life, when it comes to heaven. You get choices in life. When you're going different places, you have choices. But you don't get a choice. If you're going to go to heaven, you've got to come to Jesus. If you're going to see the Father's face, Heavenly Father's face in peace, you've got to come to Jesus. Jesus said, no one gets to the Father except through me. That's a pastor's study, a pastor's brief today. Jesus saying, I'm the way and the truth and the life. I like Jesus. How about you? I love Jesus. How about you? I'm on the Lord's side. I don't believe there's another way to do it. I believe Jesus meant what he said. He's the way. He's the truth. He's the life. Now you look at all of these people who have come and gone since Jesus said that. There's only one living Savior, and his name is Jesus. There's only one person that has died and arose from the dead and is still alive. After centuries, his name is is Jesus. And so my friends, come to Jesus. And those of you who are already on the Lord's side, be sure you share him. Be sure your grandchildren know who he is. Be sure your children know who he is and your grandchildren and your nieces and nephews. And I don't mean just ask them a simple question. Ask them and interrogate them and, and have them to explain and tell them how critical it is that they belong to Jesus. And tell them how the reward is so great. They get a chance to get to heaven as opposed to hell. And tell them how, how important it is. Tell them you want them to be there because you're going to be there in the presence of an almighty God throughout the ages of eternity. Don't, don't be bashful about it. Now, don't beat anybody up, but don't be bashful. People aren't bashful when they're talking athletics. We are not bashful. When I'm talking about my favorite actors, I'm not bashful. When I'm talking about my favorite athletes, I'm not bashful. When I'm talking about my favorite preachers, I'm not bashful. So how can I be bashful or shy or timid about telling people Jesus is the way to get to heaven, the only way? The way to get to God the Father is Jesus. How can I be bashful, shy, or timid by uh, telling them he's the way to see the Heavenly Father and be in peace forevermore? Father, I thank you for the word today. I know that our assignment is always great. Help us to be so equipped and effective on our assignment as we offer Jesus to men, and women, boys and girls of every race, creed, color, ethnicity, of every nationality, O oh God, some of any and all religious beliefs outside of Christianity, help us to never be shy or bashful nor timid and certainly never to be ashamed to declare Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and that no one comes to the Father except through Jesus. In your name I pray, amen. And just like that, 30 minutes are gone. It seems like no matter how fast I try and talk, uh, this time flies. It says when you're having a good time, time flies, and I think that's true every Friday morning. I wanna thank you for joining me. Remember, uh, I know it's football season, Yes, I know my daughter is a band member, but I am cautioning her and all of you. Keep those masks on. Stay out of the crowds, breathing on people and being breathed upon. I'm not going to be in any of them like that. It's too dangerous. Let's be safe. And God bless you. I hope to see you on Sunday morning. 
Until the next time, thank you for E.G. Cummins Memorial Funeral Home. This is Claude Schufert and Mount Zion. We hope to see you on Sunday morning for Sunday School at 9 o'clock. Have a good weekend.